There was this one time where I was in a public transportation. Yeah. I feel like some some British people, they, they do subconsciously, but they will never tell you in your face. I would say uh, growing up, it was probably a, a bit harder, maybe. The limit is not the sky, the limit is this. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you doing? I have so much energy today. All people watching the channel, man, I love you all. All people commenting, even if you are commenting badly sometimes, I love you, you know, from my heart. But anyway, hopefully you are doing okay. My name is Anum from France. And in today's video, I'm going to be asking Muslim people what it's like being Muslim living in the UK. So we're going to find out today. On my channel, I'm interviewing British people and foreigners. So it's the best channel to learn about British culture and learn a bit of French as well, since I am. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And on my Instagram, I'm checking my daily life in Sheffield so you can Check that out too. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's get started. Perfect. So I'm here with Nabil. Nabil, nice to meet you. So, like, where are you from? I'm from the UK originally. I was born here, okay. but my parents are from Yemen. Wow, that's super interesting. And when did they arrive in the UK? Uh, my dad arrived first, and he came in 1964. Uh, oh. he, he came to for work yeah. uh, to work in the steel industry. Oh, that's why he came in Sheffield because it was really popular. Yeah. All right. The Steel City. Steel City, exactly. That's, that's the nickname, yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing story. So basically the main topic of the day is what it's like being Muslim living in the UK. What's your opinion about it? I would say uh, growing up, it was probably a, a bit harder maybe. There was not many different ethnic groups around oh. uh, the communities when we were growing up. So we experienced a little bit of maybe racial abuse, hatred oh, uh, yeah. gr growing up. But as generations have been born and maybe the second and third generation of families are starting to happen and, and people coming into the UK it's definitely become uh, much better I feel anyway oh, interesting. Yeah, uh, especially maybe after the rocky period of when th there was the war in the Middle East oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you exclude that I think it's generally getting better for me the Arab community in Sheffield it's like a huge community or it's like a small one again it's very big uh, I remember growing up here there was only a small amount of Ye Yemenis here and not many other Arabs from different countries but a lot come here to study at the universities and that's been getting greater and greater so it's definitely increased uh, as I've gotten older 100%. So basically what's the opinion of British people over you how they treat you because you're Muslim there is like no differences? Um, I think now that I don't feel much of a difference uh, to, to be fair mm. I think a lot of Muslims are embedded in society now as they really came maybe again 60s 70s mm. and as the generations have been growing in families going to school together with, with the English with the British everybody growing up together I feel it's, it's getting better. You have no difficulties, for example, finding like halal food or, or practicing your religion. There is difficulties or it's pretty easy to like be in the UK and, and do that? And now it's pretty easy as well, not just going to a supermarket. A lot of big chain supermarkets stock a lot of halal food, oh, right. a lot of continental foods. And as well as that, a lot of restaurants, mm. takeaways are big on halal. And probably because a lot of people who own the restaurants and the takeaways are Muslim. <laughs> All right, perfect. So I'm here with? Um, Ali. Ali, nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah. So where are you from? I'm actually from Malaysia. Malaysia? Malaysia, yeah. super cool. And how long have you been here? I've been here for like one and a half years. And what's your impression of the UK life so far? Do you like it, yeah? Um, everything so far is great. You know, the weather is nice, people are nice. Yeah. And I basically have everything that I'm looking for over here. So the main topic of the day is, what it's like being Muslim in the UK. Any opinion about it? I think being a Muslim in the UK is absolutely fine um, because we do have a lot of Muslims here as well. Okay. And in terms of like mosques, we have it everywhere here, especially in Sheffield. Okay. So I'm not really worried about that. And then, um, you know, so far I haven't gotten any racism from anyone. Mm. So Alhamdulillah, everything is great over here. Well, like in Sheffield, in the UK, it's pretty easy for you to like practice your religion, like to get like the right food. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Halal foods are pretty much everywhere over here. Yeah. So it's really not my concern of getting halal foods here in the UK. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So when you arrived in the UK, did you have like any difficulties at all? Um, no, not at all. Um, everyone was helpful. Yeah, you know, the locals are friendly and any questions asked, they're, they're very helpful, honestly. Yeah, awesome. I love it. Any message uh, you could say like uh, on camera? Any message? Well, I mean, to those Muslim people out yeah. there, you know, uh, um, if you guys have any insecurities or just, you know, scared of coming here to the UK as a Muslim, mm. you know, in about finding halal foods or mosque or anything like that, I would say don't worry at all because yeah. we have plenty of those things that we're looking for over here. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And you think you will stay in the UK for the rest of your life or maybe come back to Malaysia someday? Uh, definitely go back to Malaysia uh, because yes. I do miss home. Um, but you know what? It's great here. So I might just come back to work here. Awesome. Who knows? Yeah. Awesome, man. It was nice to meet you. All right. So I'm here with Ebi. Like, where are you from? EJ. 
Egypt. Egypt, well, that's mm. amazing. And when did you arrive in the UK? I was born here. I was born, okay, your parents like came in uh, in the UK then? Yeah, man. Yeah, I was born here. And what's your impression of the UK life? You like it, yeah? It's all right. Yeah? I'd say it's, it's better than conditions in Egypt, I think. It's better, it's better here. What is it like being Muslim in the UK? What's your opinion about it? I mean, it's not bad. Yeah? You get, you get, you know, racism here and there, especially oh. if you're a woman, you're in your hijab and that. Oh. Yeah, but then there's not much of that. You think there is, but there's not much. Depends, depends what areas you live and stuff, so on and that. But altogether, I think it's all right. For example, what's the differences between Egypt and the UK in terms for the Muslim community? Main differences between Egypt and UK, obviously there's going to be a lot more Muslims in Egypt. Mm. Here, I think there's a bit of a more uh, cultural divide. I think that's what you call it. It's just some some Muslims even they have a they have a disconnect with the religion in itself. Okay. So but that's because you know they're surrounded about mm. different people. Not everyday Muslim life, you get me. So mm. yeah. For example, being Muslim in the UK is like easy for you to practice your religion to eat halal. It's easy or it's sometimes it's complicated. Like I said, it depends what city you live. Depends what area you could you could live in a predominantly white area. There could be less easy to practice. Yeah, yeah. In the here, Sheffield especially, I think there's a lot of uh, Muslim communities out here. Especially Boom Hall. Boom Hall's a good one. Yeah, this one here. Hold on, you're meeting like a British, you know? Yeah, yeah. You're meeting a British, you're talking to him, whatever. Yeah. Do, do you feel like this guy will judge you because you're Muslim or not at all? I feel like some some British people, they, they do subconsciously, but they will never tell you in your face. For example, I could go to a guy, say hello, this and that. Yeah. He could be all cool, calm, chill with me. But really, in his head, he's thinking, mm. I don't like this guy, man. His religion's dead, man. Oh, I can't associate myself with this guy. But that's not that's not often. You don't get it here often. And last question, you think like, you will stay in the UK for the rest of your life? Or maybe go back to Egypt or go somewhere else? No, I definitely want to go back to Egypt, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Why? because, you know, being born here, I feel like uh, there's a disconnect with me in uh, my culture almost. So I want to go back to Egypt, definitely, mm. you know, experience it properly. Have me? you ever been there? Yeah. Yeah, I have. I have a couple of times. Yeah, but not as much as I like to. That's amazing. Yeah. There's all those pyramids and stuff. So much, so much history as well. Yeah. Thank you very much, bro. Perfect. So I'm here with... Ines. I'm Ines. Ines. That's yeah. super cool. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Malaysia. Malaysia. And what brings you in the UK? So I study here for psychology. So yeah, I'm here for studying. Yeah. Oh, right. And you like the UK life, yeah? You like it? Yeah, so far I really like how everything, like everyone here is inclusive and there are lots of Muslims here. So yeah, I really love that. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. What is, what is it like to be a Muslim in the UK? Any opinion about it? I think um, based on a few years living here, yeah. the Muslims here are, like the community, Muslim community here are really strong. And I think all other like people with other religions as well are very respectful. Oh, they respect okay. Muslims and also other religions. And I also think that uh, in terms of living um, here for mm. Muslim, it's quite um, okay. Like you can find halal food very easily here. Mm. So there's not much trouble. Yeah. So it's pretty easy for to like practice your religion and your tradition. Yeah, I would say it's 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 easy to practice religion here with lots of mosques and halal butchers everywhere. So. And you never face like any any sort of like racism towards you? Yeah, unfortunately, I, or I did face that. There was this one time where I was in a public transportation. Yeah. And like, so like I was with my friends who were wearing hijab, wearing, yeah, yeah so wearing scarves. And then there's this um, white male, like yeah. non-Muslim. He was putting his hands on my friend's hijab on her head. Oh, okay. And so we were like so shocked. It was so inappropriate for that man to just put his hand on my friend's head. Yeah. Uh, and then we were like, stop doing that. And then the the man was like okay and then he just stood there and not saying sorry or anything and yeah that was one of the um, unfortunate event that happened mm. yeah yeah it's really interesting because you are from Malaysia and I've been lucky yeah. to go to Malaysia and I was really surprised when I've been to Kuala Lumpur especially on the train uh -huh. because there is like different compartments right yeah there was like a two compartments if I'm not mistaken There's like the, the male section uh, yeah, yeah. and the female section right yeah there are um, some of the trains have male compartments or just female compartments so I think that's very helpful especially during the late nights you know so it will be safer and you think you will stay in the UK for the rest of your life or you might go back to Malaysia someday I think um, for now I think I'll 
I'll go back to Malaysia. Yeah, because like I really, I'm a family person. I have a very close relationship with my family, so I will go back. But I might also consider working here in oh. future or staying here if my, I mean, if my family are coming here as well. Yeah. All right. So it depends if family I will join you or not, basically. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. It right. was lovely to meet you guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was it for today. It was about the Muslim community in Sheffield and in the UK in general. So it was pretty interesting to try to get them because as you can maybe imagine, it was not that easy to get people answering that question, especially people and girls that were wearing the hijab. They were pretty shy and reserved. But at the end, we got at least one answer from a girl that was wearing the hijab. It was super interesting to get their feeling and how they feel in the UK, if they are, you know, integrated or not. There is a racism or not. So super interesting. Tell me down below, you know, what's your impression? What's your thoughts on this? matter on this subject if you want me to ask a special question to british and foreigner let me know as well take care of yourself uh, eat as much as you can and i will see you in the next episode guys peace